Uh, so the sub panel, which we just picked up, is actually going to run from the main electrical panel, which is downstairs there. Um, and it's pretty close to full. Um, and we've got 200 amp service, so we've got plenty of service to actually get it working uh, if we had the space for it. Um, and really, it's just a matter of ease for me. I can run a cable up, over, and we're going to put the subpanel right here. And then all of the wiring for all of this space can all run right here instead of having to go downstairs through walls, floors, and everything over to that corner, get jammed in where it really doesn't fit. So, subpanel here is the plan for today. Has anyone ever done an unboxing for an electrical panel? Probably not, because they're not exciting, I'm guessing. Um, this is my first, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little unboxing for it for those of us who have never done this kind of thing before and might be interested. So we've got a uh, load center combination flush surface mount cover. So that's our door. And here's our panel, which now is kind of upside down. Like that. And, uh, you know, we've got a nice little information sheet a little bit of instructions, I'm guessing, uh, how to install a circuit breaker, how to take panels out, how to pull out the, uh, the knockouts, not, not a lot of information here. Um, basically, you should assume that you know how to do this, and really, if you don't know what you're doing, I don't recommend doing it. Um, I've done a lot of work with electrical panels, but I've never actually installed one, so this is a first for that. Um, I do know that I need to take this out as a sub-panel. This is the bonding strip that actually attaches these two um, neutral connections to the panel. Um, because this is a sub-panel, the neutral cannot be bonded to the panel, meaning that basically the neutral and the ground, which are these two out here, um, can't be tied together. And I don't remember the specifics on why exactly that is, but it made a lot of sense when I read it. So this comes out and then we can uh, put this up and, uh, and get it done. All right, so I've decided to put a sub panel in this wall here. It's in the hallway, it's easily accessible. It's also in a place where, you know, somebody could cover it up if they wanted to, even though I'm pretty sure that's not really legal. It's 25 feet, a little less, from the original panel, so I, that'll be pretty easy to wire in. Uh, we've got the panel here. I've got two studs installed, and we can slide it in here. And basically, I just need to knock out these two points on either side. Uh, line it up. I've got. I've decided to put it at six feet. The top at six feet. Um, I think that makes it so that most people shouldn't have any trouble seeing it. Um, there is no law um, really about where it can go. It just has to be less than two meters, which is six and a half feet or so. So that's where we're going to put it. We're going to move on to the electrical system now, and I don't know how. Things work in all districts, but in our city here in Asheville, uh, you can actually take a journeyman's test for um, doing your own electrical work and, and still getting it inspected. So I took this really ridiculously hard test, which I thought was gonna be fairly simple since it's an open book test, but only open book in that you can use the electrical code book. Um, I passed it. And I've been doing all my own electrical work since then. Um, this is the main panel. It's a 200 amp panel. There is a little bit more room at the bottom. Um, and I could run all the electrical from the upstairs down to this panel. But there's another option. This is the cable that I'm going to use to connect the sub panel to the main panel. It's uh, 3416. 
three conductors at four gauge, one conductor at six gauge. Um, the six gauge would be the, the ground, so not really a conductor, um, and the other three are the um, two reds and a black, or two blacks and a red, but they're all conductors. So we're gonna go ahead and drill out a hole for that and run it down to the basement. There it is there. We're gonna run it all the way down into there. There we go. Run a few more down that way and uh, that's it until it's time to actually give it juice. Again, we're gonna leave a good bit extra just to make sure. <laughs> 